Hello and welcome to the Empowered Couples Podcast where here you get modern, non-boring relationship advice for you and your partner to communicate like pros, fight smarter, and stay on the same team no matter the challenge that you face. I am one of your hosts, Aaron Freeman. And I'm Jocelyn Freeman, but you all just know us as the Freemans. And this episode is about do your standards match your goals for your marriage and life? So we're going to be getting a little bit spicy with you today, a little bit real, because we got to check it out. It is time to assess your life, reflect, to really look at the actions that you're taking (laughs) and what are they towards? If I could just, let me reframe something before we get into this, because you're, and this is in the book that we piece this together from, when you see the word goals, don't check out yet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, goals, how overused are goals? It's overused, and I know it's not the beginning of the year. It, this isn't going to be just about the same old, same old. Like, we are going to invite you to really check out your life, and I think you're going to especially love the part about standards. So this is going to be different. Don't yeah. check out. And before we even get into it, where this comes from, pieces of it and the terminology from Ed Milet's book that we've been talking about, that we've been reading, The Power of One More, we'll put that link in the notes again, that with a conversation we had with a couple on a session yesterday Mm -hmm. or two days ago and in all transparency you and i are in this process with each other right now so a lot of times we share principles with you listening that you know we've sort of mastered we've taught a lot we're very good at and today because of how powerful this is we're bringing something to you that we're doing now and it's like we're not done and we might not be masters, but I think the ideas here are so powerful. Yes, and to be, to say it more clearly, we got up at 5 a.m. to have this conversation. Oh, yeah. Not <laughs> not this podcast conversation. I'm talking about for us to talk about our standards and our goals. We wanted to have this conversation after reading about it and being like, you know what? Yeah, it's a time for us to sit down, kind of check out our life, check out what our priorities are and our actions, audit ourselves, and we have a baby, we run a business, we only have so many hours in the day. And so we prioritize this by getting up at 5 a.m. And you know what? When the alarm went off, you guys, I wanted to hit snooze. Because just as a quick side note, uh, Sky had started to wake up at 4 to nurse. And so I actually had really been awake since 4 a.m. And I was just starting to fall asleep at 5 when the alarm went off. And I'm telling you, I had this little thought of just saying... Hey, let's just hit snooze. Let's talk about this later. But this is an important conversation to us. And so I got up and it was great. And so kind of the first takeaway I want, you know, to invite you into is you got to make time for important conversations. And we're not talking about the same old, same old. If you need to sit down and really talk about your relationship, your life, maybe you need to get up at 5 a.m. for it. Let me preface where we're going with this. What you're talking about at getting up at five is a standard mm. that you're now keeping yourself to. Yep. So let's start to get some terms before we get too far into this because goals, pff, boring. <laughs> or they way, just used Well, often. because, yeah, it's so overused. But goals in this context are about the tangible things you want to achieve, mm-hmm. your results. And you have those in your marriage. Yeah. So can I give some examples? Be more connected. Actually, I want to paint the whole okay, picture. Okay, sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we achieve goals, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we can get frustrated. It's like, what really has you achieve a goal? Let me paint the whole picture now. Okay, mm-hmm. so these are different chapters in the Power of One More book. But then on this call, I saw it as a process. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for you listening, first of all, you want to set your dream. Your dream with your partner for your marriage, for your life. That's a very aspirational area to focus on. It's very broad. It could be much longer term. It can include how the experiences you want to have, not as much as the tangible, a big dream out there. Mm -hmm. Now, inside of that, what allows for the dream to come into fulfillment are the goals that you set. The milestones in a way. Yeah, so the goals are going to be those milestones, what you set out to achieve Mm -hmm. for that dream to happen. However, here's where a big key comes in. You don't always achieve your goals. 
And as Ed put in his book, you actually shouldn't even think of your goals as things that you achieve at a high percent because you don't always have control of what happens outside of you. And your goals should be a little bit audacious that you're not supposed to meet them. Mm -hmm. So where does the breakdown happen, though? It's in your standards. Standards are what you have complete control over. Standards are the actions that you are willing to take. To tolerate. And the things that you will tolerate Mm -hmm. with your partner or within yourself. Actions that will lead to the fulfillment of the goals. Yeah. So the goals you may or may not achieve because you really set them big and know all those are inside of the dream. But you set your standards. And to give one example, a standard is uh, that you just shared is you're going to get yourself up at 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. Even if you're tired, even if Sky woke up at 4, you're getting up at 5 a.m. Now, that's a standard that is going to help you on the path to a goal of, let's what say... We want for our life and our marriage. Yeah, mm-hmm. having the Argument Hangover book be a New York Times bestseller, let's say. Mm-hmm. right? So you can start to see the standard... What you are committed to for yourself daily Mm -hmm. is your standard of actions that are going to actually lead to the fulfillment of a goal and a dream. Now, we might not get here today, but the last piece that I saw, your standards are only going to be implemented at the level that you upgrade your identity. Mm. Now, now that's, that's deep. I mean, that's some work right there. So we're probably not going to get there. But if you start to think about it, you could set a standard like waking up at 5 a.m. Or like he says in business, you're going to make those 20 extra calls. But if your identity is that I'm not good enough, I'm not valuable enough, I'll never be successful enough. This really isn't going to work out anyway. I'm this relationship for is feeling very like stale mm-hmm. or whatever your identity is within your own life and your marriage, that's going to set the barometer on whether you're going to actually be a match to the standards and then whether the fulfillment of your standards are actually a match to the goals and whether the goals being achieved actually allow you to to live your dream. Yes. Okay. Well said. <laughs> love all that. And I'm going to give <laughs> I'll some... I'll be quiet e- now no, it's for okay. the rest of the episode. <laughs> no, I love it. You're so good at explaining those things. I'm going to give some examples, but first I want you to just pause, not pause this episode, but just take a minute right now and check out what are some goals that are important to you right now in your marriage and your life. And I'm talking about things that are actually important to you, not the things that are the nice to say. You say it just because it sounds good. I'm talking about what really matters and must happen for you in the next year. Like that's how important it is. And then start to ask yourself, if I'm honest, have my standards been matching my goals? And the way you can ask yourself that is how I operate with my time, my choices, the decisions that I make, do, is that a match for what I say I want and what's important to me? What I what I tolerate from myself, mm. what is acceptable, the way I show up, the way I'm acting, is that a mm. match Get it. for what I say I'm committed to <laughs> in the marriage and my life? So but I hope right then you're a little bit like, okay, Freeman. Because uh, think about this. You could set a goal, and this is going to be more so for people that we've coached with, right? But let's say you set a goal that you increase your love tank with your partner or that your partner experiences more love and support from you. Okay, but if your actual standard in your day-to-day life is that you only make one to two bids a day Mm. or at the end of the day, you watch TV, you gotta check yourself. Yes, Your standards are way too low Mm. to ever reach your goal. I feel like my partner is gonna feel so much love and support and then you're watching TV at the end of the day without it being an expressed expectation and all that stuff, your standards are no match for the goal and you're never going to reach that goal. Exactly. So some others here, you say you work hard in your career for your family. You're like, I have a career goal because then it's going to allow us to save a certain amount and then we're going to be secure. But really, even though you say it's for your family, your standard has been not having enough time for them. Mm. Then really, is it really for your family? And is that a match? Okay. Another one, you say you have a goal or a priority of love and connection in your marriage, 
but the standard you're accepting is not repairing after an argument for three days. Oh my goodness. You are tolerating that from yourself. You wait for them to come repair to you. Yeah. So you, but you claim Whoa. you have a goal and that it's important to you to be connected and loving. And yet you tolerate from yourself being silent for three days. It is not a match. We are calling you out. Your standard does wow. not match your goal. Another Let one. Let me see something. Okay. You don't have time to do this. This is deep work. But your identity at that point is probably, this is never my fault. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then that's why you're waiting for your partner to come and initiate. And that's why your standard is no match to the goal you quote unquote say. Mm. Yes. See, you can talk this big game. And this is one of the problems in relationship where your partner starts to not trust you and, and not to think that you follow through because you set these goals. You say these things. And you don't upgrade your standards to be Ooh. a match to that. Come on. Or go work on your identity to even upgrade the standards and reach the goals. Yeah. So your partner's like, I can't trust them. Mm-hmm. They say they do them. these things and they never follow through. Yep. Yeah. Where Where is the alignment? Where is your aligned action to it? Another one is you could say that you want your kids to have the best upbringing, be in a loving home, but the standard you accept is constantly being in overwhelm and raising your voice at them. Whoa. Sorry about it. I'm just saying, the, I'm just Don't saying be sorry. some things. Sorry, I'm not sorry. If this triggers you, I love you and it's okay. <laughs> this is just a moment of reflecting. You know, even it's easy to go to health. You say that your health is a goal. I want to be this fit. I want to be this strong. But your standard has been eating crappy food and not exercising. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. Is it actually a goal? Is it actually important to you? We're not talking about these fluffy, nice to say things. I'm talking about you doing an audit and what is actually important to you. And then truly do your standards match that. And if not, then you got to have an honest conversation with yourself about, okay, is the goal really not that important to me then? Do I need to let that go? Or what the heck do I need to do to raise my standard and what is acceptable? Yeah, a part of that might also be, and again, we're exploring this for ourselves. It might not be that the goal is as important enough to you. It might be that you're not connected to the bigger why for mm-hmm. the dream then. Mm-hmm. Right, the dream, and this is really a place for me that I'm really exploring. I feel good about a lot of the things. And I've been exploring this with some friends and sharing this with you. But I'm like, what is that thing that I feel the burning desire and passion for? it? Maybe you need it, maybe you don't, I don't know. But that would drive me forward with such ferocity and commitment then all of a sudden you could see how your standards get upgraded for the goals because the why is such a burning desire that pulls you forward. A personal one I want to share right now just in the parenting journey is I could say to anyone that I have a goal and a a priority of taking care of myself mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, that that's important to me. That's a top value. However, my standard lately has been deprioritizing myself not taking care of myself in terms of not going to the gym, Mm. uh, not doing any self-care activities. And I could come up with all these excuses as to why, but I had to be honest with myself about my standards. And so even just in our audit and our conversation about this, I've already made changes and I had acupuncture. I got a pedicure. I've been to the gym twice this week because I was like, I can't claim that my mental, emotional, physical health is that important. And yet my standards are the complete opposite. Mm. Right. So that's one example. Can you think of one in particular that we've already made changes on or we noticed? Oh, you're better at making the changes than me. I, I, so a couple of things I thought about the one with Sky. Like I have a goal that as she grows older, that she's like the citizen of the world and she gets to experience many different cultures and races and people and perspectives and ideas and, and all of that. And if my standard was to just stay home and run business the way we're doing it now, I could see how that would be a failure in Mm -hmm. my standard to reach the goal that I would have for her. Mm -hmm. Because I kind of see that, I guess that links me to another one. I know that a goal for me is to be out in the world, to meet new people. I'm an extrovert. I get filled up by that. I know making great associations and connections is something that really fills me up as a generator. We just talked about, you know, our types in the last episode. And then to be honest, both of us will be in the house for days, Mm -hmm. you know, doing coaching calls and these podcasts and things like that. So 
there's definitely something missing for me in my standard Mm -hmm. and maybe my identity that's not actually having me get out there and make the additional connections and go contribute to a group and align myself with with bigger thinkers and other organizations and and create something else i'm you know here i am in the house another week goes by and i barely left i only went to the gym and that was it (laughs) and that's that's why we're doing this reflection now and there's still changes that we want to make but we're doing this i wanted to give a, a marriage one that i think has benefited us and even led to us kind of writing the argument hangover book is we established early on because we both came in with unhealthy conflict patterns that we were unwilling to be disconnected for days after arguments. Mm. That is just a no go. That is a goal, a standard. And so for us, it is repair quickly. That is a standard. And that's one we'd want to invite all of you into, right? So let's break this down a little bit. Break it into what the goal would be and then what the standard inside of that is. I think the goal being tr- healthy conflict, number one, mm-hmm. um, but even more specifically is like being connected and not wasting life is the kind of simplest way I could yeah, say Yeah, well, it. then the goal would be, right, not to have an argument hang or hangover go longer than like two hours. Yeah, well, that's, that's we got there. We didn't yeah, start know, there. Yeah. But so then, then what would the standard be? Is that we repair. Like we each, we don't just sit around and wait for the other person. We take it on. I'm going to initiate repair. That's right. So that's just a, like another marriage example. We've given some, we've given health, we've given parenting, we've given your career slash importance for family, but really check it out. And maybe you need a, a worksheet, you know, something we did, we had paper out for this conversation at 5 a.m. So first off, number one, when are you going to have this conversation? Oh boy. S- would love to know. So feel free to message us. <laughs> when are you going to have it? Also get some paper out and a pen <laughs> and write out. out what your goals and dreams are. The real ones, not the nice airy fairy. They're nice to say what really matters to you. Then really check out what your current standards have been. And that being, again, what those kind of toler, what you tolerate from yourselves, the actions that you've been taking, how you operate with your time, your choices, and even get granular. Like, well, our current standards have actually been watching four hours of TV at night. Our current standards have been ordering in fast food three times a week, right? Like get very tangible and specific and then look at what your standards really need to be, Mm. could be for the goals. And then it's about making changes. That's a good point. Let me just close this out by saying, even if you can't quite accept those standards to identify what they would need to be Mm -hmm. for those goals, because then if you have resistance to those being adopted, those new standards, if there's resistance there, now you're in the identity work. Yeah, so true. And we could do a whole other episode just on identity, but Mm -hmm. we hope this has been upgrading you and... You know, we've been doing a lot of sessions lately with couples and there's a lot coming up around not feeling appreciated, not as loved. You know, we're fighting more frequently. We can't understand like what is really the root cause of this. And that's what we're here for. So we have three spots available in August. We only open a certain number of spots every month. July was jam packed. Like we've done so many sessions in addition to our travel. So we just have a few spots for August. And we can support you in having a breakthrough. So go to meetthefreemans.com slash coaching. You can read the details. And then at the bottom of the page, you pick your time slot. And we get into it. Like it's not just, oh, tell us about you and tell us about the challenge. We get right to the heart of it. We get right into a tool. And a couple today at the end was like, wow, like this clarified so much. It it felt so complex before, but it's simple. We can actually do something about this. So really book a session with us. Meetthefreemans.com slash coaching and send us a message about your standards, your goals. We hope this fired you up. We love you and we...